Hi everybody, uh, my name is Chris Gunnels. I'm the owner uh, or the creator of Ammo Reloaders of America, the Facebook page, and uh, freereloading.com, freereloadingdata.com. Um, today I just wanted to start making some videos about reloading and uh, other things related to reloading. So what I wanted to do well, the first video that I wanted to show you guys was about the furnace that I'm creating. I, I created a, uh, a poll on the Facebook page um, and most people wanted to see the video about how to make the furnace. Uh, the furnace, the purpose of it is just to, uh, one, to learn how to, to do it, um, but then also uh, learn how to cast other aluminum parts. Um, you know, for for anything, for any of the tools that I have, uh, for a lawnmower, for anything that will um, that will take aluminum. Uh, and the the main reason for it is just to simply learn how to do it. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So real quick, uh, just to let you guys know that I already started on this project when I decided to share it with you, make a video and share it with you. Um, so I'm already a, a little a little farther ahead than, uh, than when most people will be uh, when they start this project off, but I'll try to do my best to explain uh, how I did it, uh, where I started, um, and how I started. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I started out with a propane tank, an empty propane tank. Um, of course, it's an older one. You can see rust on it. It's been outside, things like that. But it also had a uh, the handle around the top here. here. Let me show you guys uh, if you can see. It had the handle. Um, what I did was the first thing that I did was I took off I, I took off the valve, unscrewed the valve in here. Um, that was that was pretty difficult. Uh, from my understanding, they put some sort of liquid welder around the, uh, or in, inside the threads there. Um, so it's, it takes a lot of work. I, I had to use my pipe wrench um, and a lot of force to finally get it off. Um, I used the pipe wrench and just a rubber mallet. Um, and it's important that you use a, a rubber mallet because you don't want, uh, if there is any um, propane left in there, which there usually are some fumes, uh, you don't want those to spark at all. Um, so just use a rubber mallet and a pipe wrench and, uh, and just use a lot of force and you'll get it off. Uh, once I got that off, I then went ahead, as you can see here, I just I cut. There's a weld right here. I cut along that weld all the way around it for a straight, uh, for a straight line. Um, and then that was the top. And then after I cut the top off, I went ahead and cut the, the, uh, the handle off and that's what these three um, grind marks are uh, right here and here uh, was uh, that's where the I don't know what you'd call it the little the leftover part that wasn't cut off I just used my grinder uh, ground that down to smooth and nice and clean um, uh, oh before I before I did all that I actually forgot to mention um, once once I took off the uh, the valve, I had to fill it completely with water on a level on a level surface, and the reason for that is because it will displace all the leftover um, uh, the fumes, the propane fumes. It'll stink really really bad. But um, if you, I washed it out or I, I filled it completely full with water twice, and then I cleaned it with water and dish soap once um, and by that time most of the smell was gone I was 99 percent sure that all the propane was gone as well um, uh, so you can be pretty sure that uh, that once you fill it with water two or three times um, let it sit for a while then um, then you're good to go to start cutting and uh, and start cutting it in half like that um, so that's, that's, that's where I got to so far, uh, cut it in half, um, 
And then I started to, uh, um, what I wanted to do, because this is going to be the lid to the furnace, I went ahead and welded, which this stuff is pretty flimsy. All it is is just really thin steel wire. Anyway, I just welded uh, them on, but um, my welder was a little too hot. Uh, so, as you can see by the spatter, um, basically I had to create uh, little pools of, of uh, weld and then just stick the wire into the pool of the weld uh, while it was still red hot. Uh, if I didn't do that, it, the, the welder would just melt the, the, this wire right here and it would just keep getting shorter and shorter. Um, anyway, I'm, I still plan on doing some more weld to support this and the reason for it is because this is going to be filled uh, with cement. Um, refractory cement is what you're supposed to use, except there's going to be a hole right here for the vent. Um, uh, but essentially this is the lid. I'll probably be adding a handle or something on it later on. Um, haven't quite figured that out. Uh, but that's that's the basics and that's how far I've gotten so far. I, I still plan on supporting these wires a little bit better. I just have to think of a way to do that. Also on a side note, um, when you cut it, I, I used my diamond cutter uh, to cut this in half, the propane tank. Um, there, the edges are really, really sharp. So I just used my, um, my flap disc to, to just grind those off and, and clean up the the little uh, shards on the ends and I did that for this and and the body right here uh, so it's not uh, so it's not so sharp anymore you can just touch it with your fingers and not cut yourself